A family continuing to fight for justice after a man was shot and killed by Metro. The family of Jorge Gomez has filed a federal lawsuit against the department after the 25 year old was killed during a Black Lives Matter protest right here in Las Vegas last month. Third Action News anchor Marissa Kinnison joining us live right now outside of the federal courthouse with more on what the family is asking for. Marissa. Well, this is where Gomez was shot as dozens of people gathered to protest the death of George Floyd. You can actually still see some of the buildings out here boarded up from those protests. Now, this morning, his family will gather here again to hold a pro press conference and a vigil. According to Metro, Gomez was carrying several guns and wearing full body armor during the protests. Police say he raised his gun at them before he was shot. Gomez's family says he was exercising his right to peacefully protest and bear arms. They say he never verbally threatened the officers and never pointed a gun at anyone. The family is now demanding Metro release any surveillance or body camera footage they have. They're also asking for anyone who may have interacted with Gomez at the protest to come forward. His mother released this YouTube video with a desperate plea for help. He wasn't out there fighting for himself. He was out there fighting for you. He was out there fighting for all of us. And during that time period, he lost his life. Help us now fight for him. We really appreciate you guys coming forward. And thank you. Please, thank you. Metro has not yet responded to that lawsuit. Again, the family will be meeting here later this morning. That will be at 930. After the press conference will be a vigil. Marissa Keniston, 13 Action News.